Welcome back, guys, to Kerbal Space Explosion. Last time, we sent a big lander to Menmes for more science, and the darn thing exploded before we even got into orbit. But I salvaged it. We managed to land on Menmes, get a little bit of science. But the thing landed on its side. We have some Kerbals there stranded. And so we're going to both mount a rescue mission and we're going to send another lander with a refined design, a refined design to Minmus uh, to get a lot more science. Hopefully, this one doesn't explode as well. So I'm trying something slightly different with this design. I've been doing the fuel lines so that you can have more rockets going at once to increase your thrust to mass ratio, and it occurred to me that I had that lander just sort of sitting on the top of the rocket and all of those rockets uh, inactive while we're trying to get out of the atmosphere and into orbit. Very much so, that lowers your thrust to mass ratio. And so I was thinking, why not engage those as well while you're trying to lift off? Well, that's what went wrong with the last rocket because I think the rockets were firing into some fuel tanks or something. I'm not sure exactly why. But I figured, uh, well, let's try a different way to do that, and let's just build outwards instead of downwards. Uh, I don't think the game really cares too much. If this was a real rocket, it would have an insane amount of drag in the atmosphere because it's not very aerodynamic. Uh, it does increase the drag for the game, but it's not that big of a deal. And we get to use these rockets. Now, these are the, like the little lander rockets that only put out 50... Uh, 50 power as opposed to 215 or 200 uh, for the other ones so it's not that big of an addition but at least it helps and once I unlock some of the more powerful rockets like the the skipper or the mainsail it'll this uh, system will get even better now you also notice that the thing it's kind of like a crown it's like a, a crown of fire and let me do this view real quick yes <laughs> look at that Crown of Fire! And let me not miss my uh, staging here. And let's take a look at this. Okay, good. Go back. So the outer, uh, the outer stages have bigger fuel tanks. Because one of the things I've noticed using the fuel lines to have so many stages to keep all the rockets turned on is that because these outer stages, these tanks, are sending fuel to every single one of these engines that is currently on, uh, you end up burning through the fuel that they have very quickly. Please don't blow up my rocket. Okay, did we did we did we get out of that part unscathed? Let me look around for a second here to make sure we're not missing anything. And we're gonna slow down, by the way. That's uh, one of the consequences of using so many of these weaker rockets. I think what I could probably do in the future is I could just put some decouplers on here and instead of putting more fuel tanks on the bottom, I could just put a rocket directly on top of that rocket. I could put one of these more powerful ones. And then once we're uh, close to landing on Minmus, we could just get rid of them and go back to the lander rockets. I think that may work. Because you notice we've slowed all the way down to 150. We are close to 10,000 meters, which will get us out of the thick part of the atmosphere and we'll start speeding up soon. But I was thinking about that. I think we'll have to try that in a future episode. Uh, putting the 200 power rocket engines on the directly on the bottom of these 50 power rocket engines without any fuel tanks. Um, just so we can get a little more kick to get out of the atmosphere. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the outer stages here are bigger. So that the overall uh, effect, we, we last longer with all these rockets. There's those guys gone, and let's go ahead and start turning just a tiny, a tiny bit. And we're not going that fast yet, so I only, I'm only gonna turn over a little bit. So we just start to get a little bit of orbital momentum, and as my apoapsis get far, gets farther away, uh, I will start to turn over more, and I'll just monitor it as long as it starts stays like more than 30 seconds away and continues to get farther away. We'll continue to turn over. 
Meanwhile, back on Minmus, the Minmus Megalander stranded on the surface in the mobile processing lab here. We have Lanbus Kerman and Kenra Kerman awaiting rescue, which is on its way. However, Hudhat Kerman in the command pod, he has no available rescue. We only have two empty capsules on their way. He's going to have to make do with what he can. Are you ready, buddy? Let's get the heck out of here. Up, up, and away. Point over to 90. Uh, let's close those things. We don't need those right now. All right, and we are up high enough. Let's point towards the atmosphere, or towards, towards the horizon. There's no atmosphere here. What are you thinking? Are you a scientist or what? Let's check. Whoa! St stop! We are already in the es uh, an escape vector. I forgot we were on Minmus. Okay, uh, let's plot a cor a corpse. <laughs> let's plot a course. See if we can do something here. We th we went so fast that we escaped from Kerbin itself. We need to be captured by Kerbin. Not, not escape. And then once we've got that... Okay, so that's a periapsis of 3 million kilometers. We can do better. There we go. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but good enough. Bring that down even lower. Down to there. There we go. Perfect. That's all we need. Uh, an estimated burn of 40 seconds. Let's make sure when we do it, we're not going to be <laughs> blasting ourselves right back into the surface of Minmus. We've got plenty of fuel. And looks like, yes, we will be pointing directly that way. Okay, so let's uh, let's get out of the immediate vicinity of Minmus. Yeah, see how, what that's going to do? We're going to wait until we get a little bit farther away before we do this. Uh, as long as I, I just needed to know the direction I needed to point in. We don't have to actually do the maneuver right there. We have a lot of fuel, so about now is probably fine. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Uh, okay, uh, not exactly what I wanted. Okay, let's try that again. Let's uh, see how much fuel we have left. We've got zillions. the heck out of here we'll do one of these thingies there we go that'll do it more or less as long as that doesn't make us crash into the surface there yeah perfect okay Let's do this one. We're far enough away from Minmus that I think we can do this without flying right back into it. But who knows? Let's find out. Uh, let's actually do it where it says to do it this time. Because otherwise, we might just end up in too tight of an orbit there. And that's a burn of uh, 23 seconds. So we're still an hour out. Uh, d distances can be deceiving. Okay, and this is probably good enough. All right, here we go. Yeah, okay, lovely. Perfect. And you've got lots of solar panels. You can do solar panel-y stuff all day, every day. There we go. We'll just keep an eye on that. Four million, three million, two million, one million. Uns. Good, okay. We are now bound to crash into the surface of Kerbin. That's okay, because we got a parachute. All right, about ready to burn to get into orbit. Still have lots of fuel left, which is good. We can get rid of those tanks. Goodbye, tanks. Oh, and that did increase our burn time by just a little bit, but not a substantial amount. We should have enough uh, to use some of these tanks to, uh, well, we're gonna need to burn to Minmus, obviously. And hopefully we can also use them to slow down and land so that we can just use all of this, uh, all these lander tanks, purely for maneuvering. 
around Minmus itself so that we can go and check out the different biomes. There's that and that. Let's cut the power. 69, okay. That's good enough. As long as above 70. Don't need to go any higher. There's Minmus. Let's, uh, let's set up a maneuver. HUD hat coming in hot. Okay, let's uh, turn off the acceleration before we are eaten by the Kraken. Okay, okay, stabilize, stabilize. No, that's not stabilizing. That's not stabilizing. I guess close enough. Oh, our little antenna may just burn up. We are landing right about the same time as the rescue mission and the science lander. They're getting close to Minmus. They're not quite there yet. And we're decelerating nicely. We can pop the chute at about uh, maybe 1,500 meters. And then land safely, hopefully. Uh, oh well, as long as we can use these science juniors here before we have to jettison the tanks they're attached to, I think that'll be okay. And we'll still have plenty of fuel. Once we're there, uh, we should be able to do a lot. Yeah, we're gonna need to use some of our lander fuel. That's unfortunate. Maybe I needed move more boosters. I didn't put all that many. I think there was only 32 boosters or something like that. Very minimal use of the boosters. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna need to throttle down here in a second as it, when this speeds up. Okay, that's a different maneuver. It changed a bit because we lost those engines. Let's see, what happens if I just throttle a little bit? We're gonna go farther away. Okay, stop. Stop! So we have a periapsis of 1.8 million meters. Not perfect, but it'll do. And we're not in some wonky polar orbit, which I think is good. And we have, uh, this is a pretty big lander. And actually this outer ring is just sort of uh, extra. So we can fly around and hit up some more of those biomes. So let's, uh, let's fast forward and let's get into our encounter. HUD hat touching down into the water. Safely down, let's recover. And he brought back a whopping 37.5 science. Awesome. Glad to have HUD hat back. I really do like HUD hat. I'm being totally genuine there. Meanwhile, back on Minmus, the Minmus Mark IV lander, which I called it the Minmus for whatever reason. Maybe I'm running out of names. Is here to rescue the Mega Minmus lander Mark VII with the, the two scientists in the science module. Okay, so last time I tried to land something on Minmus, I had it set to orbiting mode. But actually, what I wanna do is, I wanna shoot over there to that flatter area. Maybe that would be easier to land on. We landed on the slope last time and it did not go well. It's hard to really see which direction that's supposed to be. Um, just going by the nav ball. I want to go over there. Which way? Which way is that? Here we go. It's over here. Something like this. No? 135 maybe? There we go. All right, burn over there. So I've got an empty set of fuel tanks, which I'm aware of. Uh, and that is because I want to use the science. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to aim. I want to go over there. There we go, 135 is the right direction. Um, I wanna use the science juniors before we land. Let's go ahead and put the landing legs down, even though we're gonna go a little hop, skip, and a jump over to there. We can, let's actually use this. Yeah, we wanna go over there. Uh, let's shoot, let's uh, raise our height a little bit. Uh, once I've used the Science Juniors, that's probably good. Once I've used the Science Juniors, we are going to jettison them. Well, we're going to take the experiment. Uh, Dundred's going to go on EVA. Take the experiment. And then store it in the command module, which is something you can new do in the new patch, which is uh, very handy. All right, so this is a bit flatter. I had a lot of trouble landing on the... The, the, the very steep slope last time. OK, 
Okay, so I want to actually... Let's point this way a little bit. And then kill off that speed. Something like this. There we go. This is using a lot of fuel for this landing, but this terrain is not even remotely flat. Okay, and I would like that to be almost like a spike sticking out of the ground. Okay, let's stop that. Um, I wasn't paying attention to my retrograde while I was doing that. So, of course, we ended up way over here. Where are those guys are right there though, so we're actually pretty close to them, so that's good. That's good. Okay, now let's do what I intended to do the first time. Let's turn that into a spike. And pay attention to that retrograde marker. Get rid of most of the right there. Okay, so that's basically we're gonna be coming straight down. Hopefully that'll make landing a little simpler. This is still a slope, which is not great. Uh, but the surface of Minmus is so crazy, uh, un unless you land in these flats. The flats are pretty easy. But anywhere else, it's going to be kind of a challenge. And we're going to dump two of these sets of fuel tanks, but we'll still have all this center area, which will be fine. Uh, we'll still be able to do a bit of exploration. Check out some of the biomes. All right, I think this is a pretty good location, and we're pretty close to them. They're right there. That's pretty good. All right. So we're coming down like this. Next thing I want to do is I want to spin the lander so that its widest point is facing uphill and downhill, hopefully to reduce the chance that it's going to tip over when we land here in a second. Spin like that, and then slow down. Nice amount of torque. You can see we've got 1350 electrical charge because I strapped on some batteries. We also have solar panels. We're good to go. Here we come. I'm going to wait kind of to the last second to do this. Oh, and I turned on ground scatter in the options menu. It's a uh, like an experimental option. And it just adds random stuff like that, random rocks. Oh, we're in orbit mode again. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck, Kerbal? Why you do this? Why you do this to me? I said it to the other one. And you insist on going back when I'm trying to land this sucker. Come on. Oh! Come on. <laughs> Get stable, buddy. Touchdown! Yes, we did it! Oh, whew. Wiping the sweat off my forehead. All right, we did it. Very good. So, I guess we'll call this the end of the episode. Next time, we are going to rescue our friends right over there, two kilometers over the ridge. We're going to get lots of soil samples. We're going to use our science juniors. We're going to jettison the empty engines. We're going to travel around the Minmus. I almost said the moon. <laughs> We're going to travel around Minmus and hit up as many biomes as we can before we have to leave it with these three command pods. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.